Once upon a time, in a small village nestled deep in the heart of a dense forest, there lived a man named Hassan. He was a lonely and troubled soul, burdened by the weight of human neglect. Overwhelmed by despair, he tragically chose to end his own life, believing that death would release him from his suffering. After his departure from the realm of the living, Hassan's restless spirit found solace in the branches of a grand old tree that stood in the village square. There, he lingered, unable to move on, consumed by a lingering sense of anguish. The villagers soon became aware of his presence, for he would often make his presence felt in mischievous and disruptive ways. As nightfall descended upon the village, fear gripped the hearts of those who had to venture out into the silent and desolate streets. But the women, especially the beautiful ones, found themselves assisted by a wise and benevolent dervish who appeared seemingly out of thin air. He would guide them through the darkness, providing a sense of safety and reassurance on their treacherous journeys. The dervish possessed a unique gift, an ability to communicate with spirits trapped in between worlds. One fateful evening, as he accompanied a young woman on her way home, he heard whispers in the wind. The voice was unmistakable. It was Hassan's spirit, longing for someone to remember him, to acknowledge his existence. Curiosity and compassion compelled the dervish to inquire further. He sought out Hassan's former neighbor, who happened to be reminiscing about the troubled man. They spoke of his good qualities, his kindness, and the struggles he faced. This conversation reached Hassan's ethereal ears, and a wave of melancholy washed over him. Yet surprisingly, it also brought him a measure of solace. The dervish continued to facilitate communication between the living and the departed. The tales of Hassan's virtues spread, and people began to understand the pain he had carried silently within him. Their newfound appreciation for his character touched his soul, allowing him to find a sense of peace and contentment. Finally, one moonlit night, Hassan's spirit felt a surge of fulfillment. With a serene smile on his incorporeal face, he bid farewell to the old tree and made his way toward the heavens. His soul ascended to the realm of the divine, released from the earthly ties that had bound him for so long. He had found the redemption he sought, knowing that he was remembered and cherished, even in death. The village, once plagued by his spectral presence, was transformed. The villagers carried with them a newfound understanding of the power of compassion and empathy. They embraced the dervish as a revered figure, a guiding light in the darkest of times. From that day forward, the village thrived, its people bound together by an unbreakable bond of kindness and understanding. The tree, which had once harbored Hassan's troubled spirit, blossomed with vibrant foliage, serving as a symbol of the village's newfound harmony. And so, the tale of Hassan's transformation echoed through generations, reminding humanity of the profound impact even a small act of compassion can have on a troubled soul, and the eternal power of redemption and forgiveness.